So here we are, a Saturday in Portugal, and the farmers have been up clearing their land. Looks like they're scarifying it, getting ready for I don't know what, but I believe you can get two harvests here. So it's the 2nd of July. It's going to be a warm day today. And there's little white socks coming up to join me. The poor thing doesn't realize we're going to turn around quite soon. He's been lagging a bit today. He was ill, um, but uh, he's doing well. So I'm going to have to look at feeding him up again. He's looking better than he was. And here's little Tika saying, why aren't we moving? And here we are on our daily walk past houses. Today being Saturday, I see there are more people in the houses. So these must be weekend visitors who come. And it would be fabulous to live in a city and an hour or so away you've got a house in the country. And it's a village really. Um, and this is a different village to the one I live in. Um, it's probably the third village along but many of these houses are not used anymore and they're falling to rack and ruin but that's why you can buy them for a pittance but doing them up costs a lot and right now things have become more expensive but just what a beautiful day a walk in the, in, in the villages come on Tika, come on, we're going back my love um, and it's just lovely, you can see the old grapevines and the things um, here's an orchard just a little patch of land from there to the end where that tree is up against the the light pole. A little triangle and at the back there, there's a grapevines. And this would have served somebody. Now we've got an orchard on our new piece of land. A bit bigger than this, but a similar purpose. And I'm so looking forward to it because they're lovely old trees. There's a nut tree um, and some fruit trees. I don't know, but you've got your standard lemons and oranges and tangerines and we've got a well so we've got water so I don't know that I'll grow that much um, an 80 odd year old lady who grows along the road I walk up every morning brought me some vegetables yesterday and just delicious the cucumber looked like an old-fashioned not tasty thing we've got so used to the English cucumber but in fact it was delicious so I think I might get some dill today and make myself a sweet dill dressing cucumber salad was just delicious. I did it. I did cucumber, watermelon, and feta last night with some mint, and it was delicious. Um, and I've still got some watermelon left. I've still got some feta left. So I'm going to do that again. And uh, it's just lovely to be able to have tasty vegetables that you make your meal around. And in this hot weather, I must say, it was delicious. And the watermelons here don't have the big pips that we have back in Africa that you've got to take out. So yeah, so here's the end of the little orchard, just along here. We don't have peaches or apricots, so I might want to plant those. We're going to have to prune our trees back dramatically. They haven't been pruned since the 90s, and I want usable trees, things that we can pick from. So the branches would be kept quite low, a little more open um, for fruit for a family. And that's it. So yes, so looking forward to our new home, but here we are. The grapes are ready up here, well, making lovely throsses, as they say, bunches of grapes, and uh, all looking good. So have a